from Wood TV 8, this is a breaking news alert. Breaking now on News 8 at 5, a Kent County deputy shot in the hand while investigating a homicide. Thanks for joining us on News 8 at 5. I'm Brian Sterling. And I'm Susan Shaw. This happened in a subdivision near 76th and Eastern in Cutlerville. News 8's Byron Tollefson is live on the scene for us right now. Byron. Brian and Sue, I'm here on Sunbrook Street Southeast in Cutlerville, where a Kent County deputy was shot this afternoon while investigating a homicide. There was a struggle with a homicide suspect. This happened just behind me a little bit down the block in Cutlerville around 2 o'clock this afternoon. We spoke with Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young about what happened. Here's what she had to say. At about 2 o'clock this afternoon, our deputies were called to do a welfare check with a subject in the home about 500 block of Sunbrook. Um, upon arriving on the scene, they found a deceased man in the home and began an investigation. Detectives were subsequently called to the scene and were here on scene when a subject arrived back at the home um, where they were doing the investigation. As the detectives approached the vehicle, they noticed a uh, rifle and um, shortly thereafter, a struggle over the rifle began. Um, during the struggle, the suspect uh, fired the weapon, injuring the hand of a deputy, and that deputy was then taken by law enforcement to Metro Hospital. Um, he's in good condition, uh, and at this point, the, sus the suspect is in custody, and he's a 19-year-old male. Obviously, as the sheriff, I get a call like this, uh, my heart about stopped for a second. Uh, I'm very blessed that this deputy is okay. Um, glad that they were able to take him into custody without um, further injury to anybody. Uh, obviously, this is the best case scenario if this kind of incident is going to happen, but it's, it's difficult. I spoke with a neighbor who has lived here for five years. He's never seen anything like this happen here. We will have much more at 6 o'clock on News 8. For now in Cutlerville, Byron Tollefson, News 8. All right, Byron, we'll look for those reports later. Thanks for that update. Thanks, Byron.